Hi, this is another Carmen Gowie video. Stay tuned, like, follow, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey, good morning people. Hi, it's Carmen from CarmenGowie.com. Welcome back to my channel. So today, as you will know from my blogs, I really enjoy hiring cameras and I love to use Wex Rental. I'm an old school fixation customer. Today we have the Sony A7 Mark III. I'm going to test this out because I'm really looking to purchase the A9, but I really want to see how this can really perform for what I need to do with regards to like marriage ceremonies and capturing people, um, how Sony is high performing anyways, and um, with action shots and sport. I first started shooting with a Sony, but it was a Sony Compact. That was many moons ago. Sony has definitely come a long way. Um, all these years, though, I have been shooting with um, Nikon and um, used um, quite a few Fujis as well, which I really enjoy the performance of those two um, styles of cameras. But when you're a photographer, you should be able to pick up anything and roll with it. So, I mean, day to day, I shoot on my iPhone and I'm a Moment um, fan. I use my Moment lenses and um, check out the video for how I travel with my light kit. Um, but this lens I'm using today with the Sony A7 Mark III is a 24 to 240 and the 24 uh, the 12 to 24 and um, so tomorrow i have a wedding um low light possibly weather's not looking too great it's a little bit cloudy today i'm hoping it'll be brighter um but we're gonna go outside and test drive this and see how it performs on the streets of london so stay tuned i've been promising you all i'm gonna do a lot more videos out and about vlogging with my cameras so see you soon stay tuned again so like I said we're talking about the Sony a7 mark 3 just want to show you how you mount the lens so if you're new to Sony or new to um, mirrorless cameras or any kind of DSLR I'm sure you've probably seen how this is done but you just remove your lens cap okay Sorry. remove the base of the cap and you're looking for this white spot Okay, this is an E-mount lens, okay? And then there's equally another white spot on here. So these two basically need to marry up. So you would align them, click. Easy, so easy. Now the lens is kind of weighty, but because the camera body itself is extremely light, with this Sony, um, um, with the Sony Alpha, the bodies are generally like I mean obviously if you add a battery grip a grip to it you're gonna add a bit more weight I do prefer shooting with battery grip, grip blah 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 battery grips <laughs> um, but they tend to um, they tend to add a bit more weight so but it does help with the balancing so right right now this is kind of front heavy because the lens is so heavy and the body is so light but you do have the space to hold it around here which i love because there's nothing much that you can obstruct in rotating your finger around this space and i think it handles really well the body of this sony a7 um, mark III handles really well and the body across the a7 um, the a9 they're all very similar in the actual structure and dimensions there's not much difference. Um, difference in a few of the um, controls and placements and stuff like that. Um, but obviously, there's different technical specifics in the most recent versions. But I, like I said, I went for this because I wanted to give it a test go and see how this performs in capturing a wedding. So there'll be a bit of indoor and outdoor capturing and then i'm gonna i'm excited to see what how this works out so stay tuned at the end of this video there'll be a few slides of the steals that i captured 
boss shooting with this bad boy. Mm, I love it already. Sony, you are not playing. You are not playing. It is so beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm looking at it like <laughs> it's edible. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, it comes with a really nice strap, you know, but I, I have my own leather body harness, which I shoot with. I never shoot with these. I mean, I walk the streets today like a tourist with this around my neck, um, but it's cool. It's, you know, decent kind of length, you know, but it, it's got, you see how top heavy it is? It just drops because the lens is so heavy. And my, um, what do you call it? My bum bag. And I literally just rested the lens in that and it was walking around London, it was raining, so I, I basically shielded it with my coat. Um, because we've had pretty rubbish weather for August, it's not been great. But one thing I will say, which is amazing, um, is how you can focus. And I'm actually going to take an image of myself filming this right now, um, and you can hear how that click just the auto focusing is one thing that I've been playing around with, um, as well. See now the phone is blurred, but then if I focus on it and capture myself in shot, that is a great still. Um, one thing that I found really cool is being able to transfer this photo that I've just taken directly um, through the network. So there's an app, which I'll leave the link for that as well at the bottom. Um, it's a smartphone um, functional app and you basically Select on part mode, select on this device, this image. So you can see where it says Wi Fi, like Wi Fi standing by. There's a QR code which appears, and with the app, you basically scan the QR code and then it pairs your phone to the app, and the image is just sent straight away to your phone. So that is great for social sharing. You can snap QR code, scan it across, boom. I love that absolutely love that so I'm gonna connect that now and you can see here look can you see what it says connect if I just come in here can you see here send to smartphone super easy to do yeah doesn't even take long it took me a matter of seconds I just downloaded the app and now I have it Sony's um, um, smartphone synchronization app that they've created Pretty slick. Well done, Sony.